Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solution. My name is Shubham Temre. So in the last session, we cover overview of Oracle Fusion applications. So in this session, we cover introduction to Oracle Fusion supply chain management. So in this lesson, we are going to look at some key business processes for Oracle Fusion supply chain management. So let's start with an overview of supply chain man management. So uh, you may hear the term Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Cloud or Oracle Fusion Cloud Applications and they are pretty much synonym to each other. So uh, supply chain, supply chain is nothing but a network of supplier, storage facilities, transporter, retailers, distributor that participate in the production, delivery and sale of a product. It means that supplier is connected with storage facilities, storage facilities is connected with retailers, retailers is connected with distributor. Same as that of uh, storage facilities connected with, with uh, transporter as well. Next is Oracle Fusion supply chain management connects and automates entire flow of business process across all operation. It means that production department is connected with delivery department delivery department is connected with the sales department so all departments are interconnected to each other so next one is uh, oracle supply chain management cloud product offering here is a part of offering or we can say that the multiple application there is quite bit of functional functionality across the software from managing all of your all of your item data life cycle of your product procuring them, manufacturing them, ordering them, or uh, we can say that capturing all your order, making sure that they that they get to the customer on time. You have all the tools or you can say that the analytics for managing and capturing additional information as well. So supply chain management foundation setup flow. So here, when we look at this uh, supply chain management, there are certain things that we need to set up uh, that are common to a lot of applications. So across at the top, you have your users and roles. Uh, users let you know into the system, the role provide you to the privileges to do the things. You have different types of organization like cost organization, item organization, inventory organization as well, all the organization supported by business intelligence. And you have to set up your unit of measures because you have to know how you are going to cost and transact the things and the securities for which type of data we are going to give access to our organization. The next thing is the common supply chain management setups. Uh, these are the some specific supply chain management setups we have like uh, items items are the things that we are going to buy or build sell to our customer next is the catalog or category we can say that uh, which help us to manage the data or group the things together uh, the product structure which is similar to the bomb bill of material if you are a manufacturing person then you have your calendar when when we are going to be open our business when we are going to our receiving things when we are going to shipping our things this all so that's all our capture in our calendar these are some common supply chain management setup now after completion of common supply chain management setup we have some inventory setups so where we are going to have our material that's the sub inventory okay uh, are we going to try by locator? Uh, how we are going to manage our transaction? How do we want to pick material? Are we are we going to first in first out, last in first out? Do we need to control the material? Do things need to be put on hold for quality? Or last is some of our basic parameter that's the receiving or your shipping parameters so all our scm setup we will see in our upcoming sessions so thank you for watching